Looking for something fun to watch? The KJ Today Show has you covered. We're bringing Hollywood to Indianapolis and positive vibes to our community. It's pop culture, people to know, and pets. Watch it happen live Wednesdays at 7 on YouTube or catch up on demand. Hello and welcome to the KJ Today Show. We are powered by PopCon and the Town Post Network. And we are so excited to be with you tonight to bring you the special PopCon preview party. Ooh, so I know the countdown is on April 26th through the 28th at the Indiana Convention Center. We're going to get you fired up for it with a bunch of special guests tonight. We've got Colton Haynes Woo! from Arrow that will be at PopCon. Brandon Peters uh, from the Brandon Peters uh, Show. Carl from PopCon. Woo! And uh, later on tonight, Alex Spellman from the Championship Dart Circuit. I don't know him, but woo! You're going to love him, Jada. You're going to love him. He was, uh, when we started talking about uh, the this whole partnership with bringing darts to PopCon, he was the first one that he was like, this is a great idea. I want to do this. So uh, yeah, we're excited to have him on. He's our A1 from day one. He's a huge nerd. I got him to give us some of his uh, favorites. He loves Star Wars. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, Grandma's Boy is one of his favorite movies. Oh, yes. Yes. Uh, He plays Fortnite. Like He's a nerd. This is going to be great. Uh, But before we, uh, we get to our our popcorn family coming in tonight. Uh, Brandon Peters and and Carl are in the green room. Jada, you know we have some announcements. Announce. Uh, Pat, did you let me leave my microphone downstairs? Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry, I was I, prepping your food. Attention, we have announcements. Announcements. We have announcements. We have announcements. <laughs> I brought my my karaoke microphone and everything. It's charging downstairs. <laughs> oh man, so disappointing. I'm so mad at myself. I just wanted to uh, remind you that we are going to be live on Saturday morning. That's going to be a 10 a.m. live stream, and we are going to be at Indianapolis Animal Care Services. It's the kickoff for the Indy Neighborhood Cats Mega Yard Sale. This is the biggest yard sale or garage sale in the city, uh, and we're taking donations now. So this is the part where we uh, we start collecting all the stuff. You get to go through your closets and, and donate uh, all of the, the stuff that you don't need anymore, and it helps them raise a bunch of money. So mm-hmm. join me. Join me on Saturday. Uh, and then also, I'm pretty excited uh, about the this job. I want to uh, introduce everybody to a new member of the KJ Today Kind of Nerdy family, uh, West Fork Whiskey. Ooh. My friends, West Fork Whiskey. It, uh, I was there talking about some events that we're going to be doing to help cats because that's just all I do. And it's true. Uh, he wanted to show me what the bottles look like. Like we can make a really cool bottle, you know, like a cat themed bottle. And so he showed me this bottle. Look at this. This is their nice. Eclipse Elixir. They they only made 91 of them. Right. And this is one, number. right? So he was like, you have to come to our Eclipse party on Monday nice. in order to get this. And I was like, no, I would <laughs> like to take that home with me right now. <laughs> in, in no uncertain words. <laughs> There may have been some profanities. I actually was a little, I did uh, 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 drop a you son of a B. I was like, you son of a, I'm going to take this with me. I want to take this with me. Don't tempt me like that. And so (laughs) this is the only bottle of the West Fork Whiskey Eclipse Elixir that has left the building. There are now 90 left. And so if you want to have some fun on Monday, they're going to provide the glasses. They're going to provide the party. Um, and stay tuned because we're going to be doing a lot more with West 
fork whiskey. Well, some of us have to work on Monday like normal uh, people. You know what? We don't. Uh, I mean, well, I I mean, I closed my office down. <laughs> I did not get that email. And uh, and Patches will be home. Conquest Journals is officially closed well, for the eclipse. Ascension has not closed as far as I'm aware. Listen, so. did they hear that the governor issued an executive order that like, you know, uh, prepare for the crazies? No, like they are expecting so many people to come into Indianapolis that it might just like shut us down. We might not be able to handle it. So all of the emergency like departments are on high alert. Uh, you, you, it might not, you might not be able to get to work, Jonna. Just saying. Wow, all well, five minutes away it is. <laughs> okay. Well, and and also too, um, just the Indianapolis Motor Speedway alone is going to be hosting over forty four thousand people there for yes. the eclipse. And they're talking like over six figures of new people coming into town. Yeah, it's going to be crazy. All right, my friends, who's excited for PopCon? Me. Are you excited for PopCon? I'm so excited for PopCon! (laughs) You know, there's going to be so many cool things happening at PopCon. All of these amazing guests we're going to be talking about. Let's get our guests on here to start the preview party tonight welcome back to the show brandon peters from the brandon peters show let's go and uh the very first guest we ever had on the very first kj today show carl (laughs) from popcon is back Carl is uh, has gone into witness protection. Popcon has gotten so popular that he just he can't even go out in public. He gets uh, uh, he's he's got paparazzi like. following around. Carl, we need to know who else is coming to Popcon. Mm-hmm. Carl, tell us more about the magic show. Carl, we need to know about the darts. Carl, what about the pop- podcast page? He's, he's had to go into hiding. His voice is right. Hear him to protect his identity. <laughs> I wish I wish I was that cool to just have a, a nice voice change there. Yeah, <laughs> I'd end up sounding like the Peanuts teacher. <laughs> oh God, I want that to happen so much now. Uh, so Carl, you are actually taking a little bit. This is the calm before the storm. Uh, you're uh, re- relaxing a little bit. No, you're not. <laughs> You're not? I no husband is husband is behind camera thinking that I just flashed him. No, he's not on camera. <laughs> he's not on camera. Oh. Okay. So what what sorry, what was the question? <laughs> oh my god. Uh you know what, Carl, let's just get into so uh, you know, we, we are uh, counting down the days now to PopCon. So let's talk about from your perspective, what are the things that you are excited about that you want us to know uh, about uh, the 11th year of PopCon in Indianapolis? Uh, well, wow. I don't even know where to begin. So we've 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 doubled our celebrity lineup. So if you just go out to the website, you'll keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. And it's just celebrity guests. But yeah. we still have we still have the International Film Festival. We have Brandon's live podcast stage. We have the podcast awards. We have laser tag esports. We have second esports. We have uh, tabletop gaming. Forty some odd thousand square feet of tabletop gaming. We've got uh, boy, uh, I, I'm I'm already missing things. Uh, escape room. Uh, <laughs> uh, we have we have live magic all weekend. We have a special. A stage performance of magic as well, but we gave them their own room this year. So wow. if you're just if you're just bored throughout the day, you can just walk into the room and see magic. Uh, we we've got uh, the darts that are coming up later. Uh, if I haven't mentioned virtual reality, we've got virtual reality um, that is so cool. Uh, I believe that we're going to be competing against. So people at PopCon will be competing live against people in Las Vegas at Level Up Expo. One of our sister conventions out, in, uh, not sister, I guess, but co uh, w- the people that are also throwing on a convention uh, out out in Vegas, and uh, that that both VR setups will be able to compete against each other uh, live right there on the vendor floor. I there there I and again I'm still missing things. So uh, it, there's just so much going on. Uh, talk about bang for the buck. That is what PopCon is. 
It is. I, it, it's so different from any other convention. And, uh, you know, I always love, you know, having you on and being able to work with you and 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 Chris and, and everybody that's behind the scenes, Brandon, because it, it it is this experience. And I don't I don't know that anybody can experience it all in one weekend, but I encourage you to try because everything that Carl is talking about. Um, it, it, people are, are, are working tirelessly right now to make it a great experience for you. And there's no other, I mean, there just isn't another event like it in our city, let alone the, you know, the Midwest, maybe the country where I don't care what you're a fan of. There is, your fandom is represented. Your when we say PopCon is oh, the yeah. place where every fan finds their place, we are kidding. Like you tell us what you're a fan of and be like, I bet you don't have this. I bet we do. <laughs> exactly. I mean, that's exactly right. So uh, we we are every aspect of pop culture from from soup to nuts. We've got it all. Uh, uh, Brandon, we're going to talk about the, uh, the podcast stage and the podcast awards coming up. Uh, before we get to that, though, do you guys mind if uh, Jonna catches us up on, uh, on what else is going on in pop culture? I don't know that there's much, but we, we've got Jonna here. <laughs> there's a silver surfer now. Oh, hang on just a second. Let's talk about that. It's time for what's popping in pop culture. pop 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 with executive producer Jada, pa pow, pa pow, pa pow. Jada, do you mind if Brandon gives us some breaking news? I absolutely mind. <laughs> Brandon cannot come onto my show and try and take over my segment. <laughs> uh, if, if this is your first time watching uh, a KJ Today show with Brandon Peters uh, and Jada <laughs> together, uh, for some reason, everybody seems to get along at PopCon. Like literally everyone gets along at PopCon except Brandon and Jada. I don't know why. Uh, I, I don't understand it. Uh, but uh, we'll get to Brandon's news. Uh, I don't want you to, you know, take over the segment here, Brandon. And have Jonna walk out. I know that you worked really hard, Jonna. So tell us uh, uh, what oh, I did. exactly. There is, there is, is a graphic. I, oh. I did make a graphic. Oh, okay. Ooh, is it in crane? Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> Boom, my one graphic talking about season two of Daryl Dixon which the trailer just released like a few days ago and it is called daryl dixon the book of carol the book of carol yes apparently there's a lady named carol and like everybody's being all murdery and whatnot so uh it, there's a lot of things you're excited about about popcom but you don't know the walking dead nope. uh, cast that's coming right? uh nope sure uh, don't man little sure chandler riggs don't. he's not so little anymore well oh, no he's not no I guess uh, not. Well, look, this this news brought to you by Geek Vibes Nation, our beautiful partners. If you would like to read more about it uh, and learn more about it, because I surely will not be telling you <laughs> any more about it. <laughs> go to geekvibesnation.com. <laughs> and also, in case you guys are wondering, King Charles is, in fact, still alive. Oh, thank you. Yes. yes uh, you're welcome. Yeah, that, that's what's popping right now. Yes, is that very they, important. So the, the palace had to make that official statement yes, today? The palace had to make an official statement because some Russian news website or something were like, the king died. And everyone was like, oh, no, the king died. And they're like, he did not. He is in fact still alive. So, so don't worry, guys. Charles Carry is in on. fact still the king. Uh, thank you. I've got a little bit of uh, uh, what's popping here, Jada. Ooh. Yeah. What's wow. popping? Brought to you by Conquest Journals. I'm very excited uh, uh, to not only let you know, Jesse McCartney has a new album coming out on Friday. He is actually going to tell you all about it. I know. <laughs> Jonna was so mad today when I, I posted that we were going to have Jesse McCartney as a surprise <laughs> guest. I, it, it happened so fast, Jonna. I couldn't even get you. You were at your real job. Uh, I don't I, care about that job. Well, I couldn't get to you fast enough. It was like, uh, you could talk to Jesse McCartney at 930. It's 922. I'm like, yep, I'm on it. Let's do this. Oh, man, I saw that. And I was like, <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, so he is coming to the Vogue. He's going on tour. It's only like 24 cities, but he's coming to Indianapolis oh, May 2nd. I saw him at the Vogue a couple of years ago, and it was just 
middle school me has never been happier. Uh, well, uh, you know, his uh, his new single is like uh, make a baby. Like it's all about, you know. Yes, he's grown. Making a baby. He's Jesse grown McCartney, up. Has, he's grown up on me. <laughs> All right, that's what I've got that's popping. This is what up. I deal with all the time when John is over, guys. Also, what's popping in pop culture <laughs> is yesterday was me and Chris Evans' one year anniversary. Oh, that's right. That's right. Oh, all right. now let's turn How it over. Go? Let's turn it over to our roving what? report. Pop it. Brandon Peters, go ahead. You have breaking news? I only oh, jumped in there because you guys said you had nothing. So that, yeah. <clears throat> that's why. Uh, but uh, tried to throw you something. But Julia Gardner, um, people know from uh, Ozark and Inventing Anna, was cast in Fantastic Four as Silver Surfer. Um, so she'll be joining the previous. It just adds to the whole Netflixness of this cast. So yeah, <laughs> there's. I love uh, her though. She's. Really I do. Good. No, she's great. She's, she's great. She's really but good. She was great in Ozark. She'll be playing a Shalabal inter iteration, which I'm I'm formed comes from Earth X in the comics. I don't know huh, what to do with okay. the movie, but so it is. So before all the the grown men who grump and cry go angry, it is a legit comic adaptation version of it. But they'll okay. cry. They'll cry anyway. And this comes. Say, still cry. This comes at the wondrous day that Nelson Peltz lost that shareholder voting at Disney by a mar wide margin. So this is the perfect news to follow that up with. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so and that's going to be like right in that first Fantastic Four movie. We're mm -hmm. getting the yep. Silver Surfer yes. right away. Oh, yep. mm -hmm. nice. nice. So excited about that. Oh, Patch is over there. He's salty because. He just thinks it sucks that Pedro Pascal's in everything, yeah. and now he's going to yeah. be in the fantastic. Pedro Pascal's Orson. birthday was yesterday. Oh, happy yeah. birthday, Pedro! Who cares? <laughs> a lot of people actually. He has a uh, huge like cult following, bro. It's I like, know. He's got like a paid like he's got like a like Swifties beehive type thing. Like it's yeah. nuts. He does. <laughs> Nuts. I mean, I give him credit. It's just like I'm just tired of him, right? Mm, but he's I so understand. Handsome. Yeah, Seems he, like a nice guy. I think he, yeah, I think he's a great guy. I like him in everything that he's in. So I'm cool with him being in the Fantastic Four too. Look, man, he was like one of the few people I recognized in the Fantastic Four cast announcements. So I was like, all right, I know him. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> All right. We're going to keep going with our PopCon preview party. But first, uh, we're going to turn it over to producer Patches for a word from our What's Poppin' and Pop Culture sponsor, Conquest Journals. What's Poppin' and PopCon is powered by Conquest Journal. What's Poppin' and PopCon? Hi, <laughs> the KJT. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all suck. Yeah, let me pass uh, and take two. Action. To be to to be fair, patches. Uh, Conquest Journal's first event ever was PopCon. It, it was. was. Yes, it yes. was. Yes, it was. <laughs> So, but hey guys, stop by the KJ Today and Kind of Nerdy Girls booth at PopCon as Conquest Journals is sending us on a quest to help the cats Ooh. get your officially licensed Lord of the Rings collage kit, perfect for autographs, at PopCon. And every dollar will be donated to indie neighborhood cats. Woo! Woo! Love those guys. Yeah, the, staying new the, to your pets, guys. Help right? us bring back that musical, right? <laughs> the right way. Now, guys, no. the kits will be discounted to make it easy for you to help us raise money. See you guys at PopCon, yeah, April twenty sixth through the twenty eighth for this special Conquest Gives Back fundraiser with KJ today. Uh, I, I'm so excited about this and so grateful to uh, Conquest uh, that uh, they're donating all of these Lord of the Rings uh, uh, collage kits for us to raise money for Indie Neighborhood Cats. When I reached out to Dawn, the executive director at Indie Neighborhood Cats, we were talking about doing this. She said, I said, are you a Lord of the Rings fan? And she uh, uh, called me and she said, are, are you joking? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> no, the audacity. Are you joking? And she said, Go look at my Facebook page. And she had, like, five minutes before I texted her, she had posted a quote from Frodo 
on her Facebook page. <laughs> like she loves Lord of the Rings. So, I mean, she was almost crying at the fact that she gets to come to PopCon. Uh, you know, Carl, I mean, let's talk about, you know, the, the Lord of the Rings cast that's coming because this is a, a, a reunion that, I mean, mm. hasn't happened in a while, right? I don't, well, yeah, I don't know that it has. Yeah. Uh, so we have all three major ring bearers coming. So we have Frodo, Gollum, and Sauron himself all going to be at PopCon all at the same time. So Elijah Wood and Andy Serkis are two of the best Hollywood actors that exist, and they're going to yeah. both be here this month at the Indiana Convention Center. Uh, and those collage kits, uh, you know, that you can see the collage kit behind Jana. Uh, that's the Harry Potter one. So they are, I mean, they are perfect for uh, getting autographs. Oh, wow. I mean, they're so that's the the Harry Potter one, the Lord of the Rings one, just as gorgeous. And so you can <laughs> stop stop by our booth, and they're going to be really discounted. Uh, I, yes. Yeah, deeply discounted, and deeply discounted. You can grab that collage kit and pick your favorite scene from Lord of the Rings and get it autographed, and then like make this Lord of the Rings collage kit on your wall with an auto autograph from. The freaking Lord of the Rings star. Oh my goodness! Just, I know. Just, but if you if you if you get it autographed, just make sure you protect it. Yes. It's, yes. It, it immediately goes whoop in the price scale. So. Uh, I say Ryan said he got uh, tickets for a friend. I've heard a lot of people that you know are inviting friends this year, which I think is awesome. Like, it, yeah, invite your friends. Yeah. It's, it's, a, all your it's a perfect event for it. I've it certainly is. had more people I know asking me about PopCon this year than any year before. So I'm like, Have oh, you? okay. You yeah. Come, hey, come yeah. on down. Uh, so, Brandon, let's talk about your sure. uh, piece to the puzzle. Uh, do we uh, have to? Yes, we do. Uh, John, I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to the you. screen over there. Down there. <laughs> not, not Carl, but the one after him. <laughs> Black out the screen. We're good. Uh, Brandon uh, runs uh, two parts uh, to PopCon with podcasting, which uh, in case you guys don't don't realize, there, there were no conventions representing podcasters when PopCon started doing this. Same thing with, with YouTubers. I mean, PopCon is always looking for the, those, those fandoms that aren't being represented. And, you know, when they started bringing YouTubers in, nobody was doing that. Nobody was, was looking for those YouTubers. PopCon is a bunch of trendsetters. Okay? Yes. Yeah. We started the trend and we're mm -hmm. keeping and so with, you go, Carl. with the podcast, Woo! we have two different things going on. So we have the stage that Brandon is coordinating. And then we also have the, the podcast awards. Again, something nobody was was doing. Uh, so, Brandon, let's talk about, you know, what we're looking forward to with the stage this year. And, you know, it, it, do we need more people submitting for awards? Can they submit all of that good stuff? All right. Uh, the the fantastic news that I love and I'm enthused about for the first time. I know that since I've been going to PopCon, uh, we have a full slated schedule of shows for the podcast stage. If you sign up, you can still sign up for the podcast stage, but you will be put on a wait list. That has not wow. happened in any time I've ever been doing the stage. I'm enthused. We have a very varied slate. I'm excited. I scouted two shows to come. Um, Jonna might like one. It's called the Fake Ass Book Club. Um, you should come. Yeah, KJ told me about that. I mm -hmm. told her about it. Yeah. Uh huh. I'm very excited for them to come. Uh, I've just got I've got a, a podcast from Louisville PopCon is traveling. They did the stage at Louisville PopCon. They're traveling up to Indy to do it here um, in Indianapolis. Uh, they're called the Grace Tap Room Podcast. Um, but we we have a full d a day on uh, the Normies are going to do their podcast on Friday. So if you like talking Normies. Uh, they're coming. They're they're doing the podcast stage. Um, I'm doing a big kickoff show to 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 start it off on Friday with a lot of different uh, coming and going guests that will be stopping by, saying hey, talking about something and going real fast just to kind of build the excitement for the show. Um, and Saturday is just a huge full slate uh, of good good programming. Sunday, uh, ra if rather full. Um, and you'll be you'll be talking. We got the darts. 
talking yes. Saturday. Uh, yes. Pretty excited about that. Um, and yeah, I, I'm just overly enthused. I, I feel like the stage is progressively just working to become what I have ultimately envisioned it to be. And it's like getting, it's um, maybe it's there. I don't know, but it's been really exciting <laughs> to watch it. Cause I still have, I have idea, Carl, I got more ideas. I'll, I'll share them with you off the air, but um, just to keep growing it and making it a real event at PopCon that people sit down for, they come by um, the last stage we had just, I mean, we have better decor for it now and people just stop by thinking something real is going on here and they check it out. And uh, we do a lot of fun things. If you come to my show, you get to, you know, be on my podcast and win prizes. I have two, two opportunities for that one Saturday with Jessica Altman uh, and patches. And then one on Sunday with Chris Johnson, different types of games, different types of prizes, but it's a lot of fun. Uh, and if you ever want to just have a podcast and hear yourself on, it gets released on my show later. You can hear yourself um, struggling to answer trivia questions or <laughs> yeah. poorly described movies. But the That's stage, the, the stage, I'm beyond enthused with. Like I, I I'm very and, happy. And- and so, that that's one of the great things about PopCon because PopCon is one what, like was one of the very first cons ever to do a podcast stage. Right. Mm-hmm. And from from the inception of it, Brandon, uh, I mean, like Brandon, Carl, thank you guys for having that vision and congratulations for how much it's grown and how it continues to grow. Well, and uh, like you said, Brandon, I mean, there are a lot of we do have a lot of uh, people who come like us that are talking pop culture, geek culture, mm-hmm. things like that. But there are also I mean, it's it, it varies. The, the the shows are all so different that end up yeah. on stage. Right. I mean, I, mm-hmm. you've had some paranormal people. I mean, talk about some of the shows that, you know, are maybe a little bit, uh, you know, different from all of us nerds, always just talking about the nerd stuff. Gotcha. Last year I had a paranormal one. I had a, a magic show that tried yes. the best to <laughs> try to convey it. <laughs> Got it through. Um, I don't, there must've been a miscommunication, but boy, we, we did it. We, uh, made it happen. Um, yeah, this year, like I got the fake ass book club. I brought in, uh, Chris Spangle, uh, probably to give like oh, a po- podcasting Ooh, dissertation, uh, or, you know, uh, kind of a crunch thing. I think that's maybe what he's going to do, um, with his time there. Um, we've got all, we have movie related podcasts, but they're all like very different in what I'm uh, say, what I, I look, cause I, when I'm scheduling it, I don't want the same thing going back to back. Um, yeah. All of this, um, I, I will say we do have like wrestling, even nice. if you want to go see the stable. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> that uh, one of my favorite groups, the established facts, they always are part They're of the so podcast good. stage. Yes. They they are back, uh, in the running, and I, I love that. Um, they uh, it's always a joy because, like, I know we're at PopCon, I know things are going to be good when I see Josh and Don, and we are troubleshooting stuff, getting because you're usually one of the first ones to kick off the stage on the first day and um i just I, I just coasting easy right after that um all day long i do like to bring some of the vendors by to talk briefly about stuff if they want to um yeah. i've had like last year i was near allison's anime art who she's super talented and yes. she enjoyed every plug i gave her so if you're you're a vendor i'm pretty easy you tell me to you know while between yeah. shows michael michael rooker was a very big fan of that uh, of that mm-hmm. booth yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Well, so, that's, uh, you you mentioned that uh, uh, Saturday uh, I'm going to be kicking things off on the podcast mm-hmm. stage, talking darts, and uh, I I thought, well, let's let's transition over and bring our next uh, guest in because he's backstage, ready to talk darts right now from the championship darts circuit. Please welcome for the very first time to the KJ Today Show, Alex Spellman. Let's go. <laughs> uh, Alex, it's great to, you know, talk to you in a in official capacity on the show. Uh, we've chatted a couple of times at the tournaments here. Uh, there's a, a huge connection to Indianapolis, and it's interesting how it's all it, it continues to just get bigger. But a, a lot of people don't realize that, you know, the main events, uh, many of them take place right here in in Brownsburg, and you can watch North America's greatest darts players. Um, so we were there. We got excited about it and started having the conversation of of let's put this let's put this at PopCon and introduce it to a, a new audience. 
I, and so how are you feeling knowing that, you know, we're, we're less than a month away and we're bringing these two loves that you have because you're a pop culture fan too. And the darts that you play all together uh, in a place where a lot of new people are going to discover it for the first time. Right. Um, I'm really looking forward to it, actually. Uh, I never got to, uh, I almost went to uh, GDC a couple of times before I started to doing the dart thing uh, full time. I used to work at Epic Games, so I got some of the Fortnite and whatever stuff over here. Uh, never actually got to go do that. Would have been nice so I could have a little more exposure to what I'm about to get into. Uh, <laughs> obviously, more on, on that side of stuff, it's a little easier to, uh, you know, pre-plan and stuff. As far mm -hmm. as I'm aware, we haven't done this on the dart side of things. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see. I don't know how it all plays out. So I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> uh, well, I will uh, tell you, Alex, I, I tell many people, if you're going to a con for the first time, PopCon is the one you want to go to. Uh, Carl is is one of the, the founders. And, you know, I think, Carl, you can kind of speak to that was sort of the purpose of PopCon, right? Well, yeah, I, yeah, absolutely. It's just to bring all sorts of fandoms together, different different uh, popularities of any kind. So we, uh, akin to the professional darts, we've had professional yo-yo players there, believe it or not, professional yo-yo. And it was a huge hit for a couple of years. Uh, but uh, that I ha will have to say that was the very first time that anyone has ever mentioned GDC along with uh, with PopCon. Uh, we're, it's a very different event, uh, for better or for worse, but we do have a lot of video gaming going on. So it's not for lack of video gaming, but uh, it, uh, the, the, we don't have a lot of programmers there, I will say that. <laughs> the people making the game. <laughs> I, I was an um, IT guy, not a programmer, so. <laughs> yeah, well, there, there, will be, there will be plenty of IT guys because I'm one of those too. But uh, no, that's, that's fantastic. So we, yeah, we are a true fan event. Uh, we're not what I would consider a trade show like Game Developers right. Conference is. Which is better uh, anyway. So, yeah, but, well, it, it is, it, it depends. I've wanted to go to GDC for completely different reasons, but the, it's, uh, yeah, I didn't no, know what GDC gonna... was until you finally yeah. just said it. <laughs> yeah, yeah game, game game developers conference. So if you work for hey, Epic, Carl. then it, <laughs> that that's all video. That's video gaming. Game developer honestly, conference. I thought, people. I thought it was another darts organization. To be honest with you, yeah. <laughs> I was kind of the snarky things in my yeah. brain for it to stand. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, it's, if I. If I remember correctly, it's usually held out in San Francisco every spring ish. So it may have already happened this year. Uh, and uh, the it, it, yeah, it's just where all people of video gaming, all the people that work in video gaming want to go to Game of Thrones gotcha. conference for sure. Not it's the, it, with gosh it's darn the, cats. It's, it's, <laughs> Man, people people often think that PAX is really the, the video game version of Gen Con, but I would say Game of Developers Conference is really where you want to go. Uh, so, Alex, I I wanted to, you know, kind of ask you to explain darts. To We, we understand it. Pa Patches and I, we were actually, I mean, we couldn't have gotten into darts in a, in a nerdier way. We were working a Walking Dead convention in London, and we're so tired that we, we couldn't go anywhere, do anything. And so I was like, turn the TV on. We'll watch something British. Right. And, uh, <laughs> it was a Thursday night, we got right, done right. setting up and we were exhausted. And, you know, and so the Chelsea Dagger song's playing, and we know that from being Blackhawks fans, and that caught our attention. And then there's this crowd of people in cosplay, and they're watching darts. And we were like, I don't understand what's happening, but uh, we just found a new fandom. Right. Uh, so it's kind of, we're kind of in a place in North America, right, where we're trying to. Uh, bring that the not just the sport but sort of that culture oh, in yeah. uh you know it before i knew before i knew darts was a thing i didn't know darts was a thing obviously i mean mm -hmm. obviously but it, it's a, until you let people know how big it actually is especially overseas i mean you'd have you'd have no idea uh early on in the cdc uh uh establishment i guess uh, i'd come up to indiana go get a haircut before the event and they'd ask you know what are you in town for and i just eh, i'm just visiting family like it, it seemed weird <laughs> to tell them that i was in town <laughs> like, i like, don't no, want to talk about it <laughs> you know no no offense like badminton but it's like i'm in for the badminton convention or you know something like it's just seemed, right. oh, i'm a tickly winker yeah, but you know, <laughs> you know I, and I love badminton people. so you know <laughs> but no it, it's it's gotten to a point where uh it's it's 
especially with some like, like Luke Littler, for example, being a 16 mm-hmm. year old that made the world finals, it's starting to be a little cooler to to yeah. do this. But it, it's I'm somebody that that I'm deci- I'm trying to determine: Do I want to go do this overseas, or do I want to do this here? And I'm kind of leaning towards doing this here, which means I need to grow the game here, uh, mm-hmm. which is why I want to go do this. But like you said, you pop on the TV over there. And, and it's on all the time. It's the second most watched sport, if that's, you know, I, I would consider it a sport, but uh, yeah, others yeah. might not. But yeah. Yeah. if I'm not mistaken, it's the second most watched uh, sporting event over there behind soccer. It's, it's huge. Um, now, I, game, I challenge and, anybody. I challenge anybody that can't hit triple 20 three times in a row to not call it a sport. Yeah, and <laughs> right. <laughs> the cool thing about this game, and and you mentioned it, was that you kind of don't even have to know what's going on to have a good time. Like the people in the crowd, some of them know what's going on, the other half don't know what's going on, but you know what? They're they're having a good time. I mean, uh, we had an event uh, in Madison <laughs> Square Garden where it it really proved, I think, to us that there's a market for this here. There, people have a great time. You can dress up like you're seeing in the little video reel here. You can whatever it, just just go have some fun now the game isn't as complicated as it looks it's you know we have this different segments on the board triple or triple the points doubles or double the points 501 down to zero finish on a double simple as that now the math gets hard when i hit 919 how much is that it's 171 you know so so if you're not good with math it might take you a little to, to pick up on it but we have uh, phones with calculators now darts is <laughs> easier than it's ever been <laughs> and if you struggle with the math we have a built-in game or a game with a built-in calculator called soft yeah Talk. And that's, yeah, so, <laughs> so there, there's there's options for everybody. Well, but, and that, and it's, technology. It, yeah, you brought that up. It's interesting because you know most people it, here in America, you know, see darts as like the the leisure thing that you do at the bar. You know, right. it's, it's there, and it is the soft tip. But what we're talking about is is steel tip, right. and you are doing that math. Right? I mean, oh yeah, yeah. You, it it it's it's. The, the reason why I want to grow this game so much is not just for myself because this is my job now, but because it, it's it's an outlet for people that maybe aren't cut out to be, you know, uh, baseball, basketball stars. They're more the, the, the chess players, the more strategic, because not only is there the math side, you know, there's there's the strategic side, you know, there's I'm on 271. What's my best options here? You can play percentages. You can, you know, whatever you want to do. Uh, but. The other great thing about darts is it doesn't care how tall or short or thin or fat or boy, girl, age, doesn't matter. Anybody can be good at this game. Uh, Like I said, Luke Littler just made the world championship final as a 16-year-old. There's a 16-year-old somewhere in this country. We have 350 million people. There's somebody that just has the natural talent. And in a year or two, could be on the world stage. Well, you know, even to your point, like uh, Gerwin Price, who's who's top five in in the world right now. He he's a he's a former rugby player, and right. and he he was done with rugby, and now he throws arrows, and that's that's what right. he does. That's his profession, and he's he's a former world champion. Right. I know who that to is. that exact point. There's somebody you guys probably don't know about. Uh, Pascal Ruprecht is from Germany. Yes. I think he's only about 1920, if I'm not mistaken. He's going to school to be a, a, a policeman, I believe. But within a year of him picking up darts, he was a professional. It's just sometimes you just have a knack for the game. Uh, you know, they have a lot of guidance over there. I had a knack for the game. I kind of had to teach myself over the course of 10 years how to actually improve. And now I'm, I, I do some coaching. I'm trying to pass that on to other people because I stunted my growth for 10 years, not having the right guidance around me. But with the right guidance, like I said, somebody at a some 16 year out there can 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 make this a career. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's not just great for just your average player, but this is a game where uh a kid that I'm going to play with down in Florida in a couple of weeks, uh, you, you know, he's, he's autistic or, you know, there, 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 there's a great path for uh, people with disabilities to actually be a somebody. It's, uh, it's a completely inclusive game. Right. And not just on that front, but, you know, I have a tab. I, I have my setup behind me. I have a tablet here. We have digital scoreboard scoreboards, which means mm-hmm. I can play from the comfort of my own home and have high competitive uh, matches with anybody around the world. Uh, uh, we got a, a, a question from Chad, and I'm so glad this uh, this came in and, and you guys are interested and definitely keep questions coming. Uh, will there be dartboards for fans to try or play at PopCon? There is going to be some interaction with with the players that are coming, right? 
Yeah. I'm, oh, yeah. Absolutely. Well, I don't know exactly what the setup's going to be, but I know we will have some stuff uh, so we can kind of teach people how to play a little bit. I think we're going to try to put on some like little exhibition matches to show how uh, good and sometimes how bad. Look, and sometimes how bad we are because this game is hard, <laughs> even for professionals, you yeah. know, to hit one triple 20 and then two singles, that's 100. That's what the best players in the world average, roughly, which means that just like almost in baseball, batting 300 is good. Hitting one out of three triples is good so even if you're you know everybody's bad at this game <laughs> <laughs> especially especially patches oh hey, my god patches is the hey, worst do are not you really, bring are you really gonna bring it up <laughs> well the charade is over about him being good patches oh okay no i'm not good i'm not good i I'm just started playing leagues but yeah i'm I'm one to know against patches. That's all I can. Do. Oh, <laughs> was, I have, was it party patches or patches? Oh, it was. Party it, it was party patches. To be fair, to be fair, it was also party Carl at that point. Was, yes, <laughs> party patches actually fell down while he was playing. So, now, uh, <laughs> Alex, I don't know uh, how long you're staying, but we would love to have you and the other guys uh, at the at the after party on Sunday uh, to, because there is, there is some darts going on at the after party. Yeah. <laughs> just, 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 just to preface, this is a non-public event. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. Yeah, private party. Correct. <laughs> if I, I, I know they booked you my that, flights Jenna? for me, but if I'm there, I'll be there. Brandon, you better hush. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let's talk about Alex. I'm going to kind of roll the screen on the other uh, players that are coming along with you. And can, can you uh, just tell us a, uh, a little bit about them. I know. I yeah, think first, I will do my best. <laughs> first up, it's you, of course. Tell us about yourself. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we have uh, Jules Mendong, and he's one of the American pros uh, on the current tour. Uh, Jim Long, uh, yeah, he's blowing there. up the seniors darts tour over there right now. Mm -hmm. He's also blowing up okay. ours. Jason Watt, who mm -hmm. people think that's who I am. Uh, he's, he's got a big, uh, I can't tell you how many people will pick up conversations with me as if, and I'm like, I don't, I don't know who, I don't know who you are. I don't know what you're talking about, but from a distance, he looks more. But he has, oh he has a, a the, he's the bearded dart guy. He has a, a, a good following. Uh, does a lot. Yeah, I saw like he's the bearded dart guy. So that you guys all have nicknames. Uh, you know, uh, Jim is the gentleman. Jules. Right. Uh, is the Dutch, the Dutch dragon, dragon. Yes. Yes. right? And yes. you are you are the jackal. Is that uh, right? Yeah, for now, I, I have an affinity for Egyptology, and and Anubis is a jackal, so that that's what I got for yeah, now. Nice. I love it. So yeah, and you, you guys have walk up songs. Do you have a particular walk up song that you're? Um, I'm I'm, you? I'm a little bit of a, a Metallica fanboy. Uh, nice. And I tried. I would love to do something like Creeping Death because of the e Egyptology, but I don't oh, know. Yeah. If the, I don't know if the PDC wants the crowd screaming "Die, die!" You know, even, even <laughs> it's, a bib, it's a biblical song. Uh, what, are actually, your, what are your thoughts on the chicken dance? <laughs> uh, maybe next time. No. Maybe next time. So, I, I, not to say that they're that Metallica can't be upbeat, but you do want something that's upbeat and fun for the crowd. So I, I have a YouTube mashup of. Uh, maybe you guys have heard it before, maybe not, but it's it's Stevie Wonder's super, uh, Superstitious yes. mixed with uh, uh, Metallica's Sad But True. And it just, it it I like it so much that I like it better than the two originals. And it, okay. so it still gives me my Metallica flavor, but gives something upbeat and fun that the crowd, you know, is familiar with. Nice. Uh, before we let you go, uh, Carl is uh, quite possibly the biggest Star Wars fan that I know. And I know that's one of your fandoms. So oh, yeah. I wanted to uh, uh, take a moment and, it, you know, when someone says I'm a Star Wars fan, it, it can mean so many different things. Right? So, like, <laughs> let's, like, what does it mean that you like Star Wars? <laughs> so I it, it's weird. Like I, I would I don't know that I would go into the super nitty gritty. However, when I was bored at my previous job before Epic, uh, I was at Lowe's Hardware at their corporate office. When I'd get bored, I would look up Wikipedia and just read oh. random articles. You know, one, one of my favorites was that uh, the, the side story of like the Millennium Falcon crashing in the Pacific Northwest. And turns out Sasquatch is actually just Chewy walking around. In the <laughs> <laughs> uh, but there's so, so I, I, there may be certain details that I don't know off the top of my head, but I might know random things. <laughs> So, I think you brought. Carl. That's not I easy to do, Alex. Carl. 
<laughs> That's a new one. We, yeah, I, it's, wow. it's like it's like a Star Wars uh, Indiana Jones. So Indiana Jones, I love it. Finds the crash and yeah, yeah. I love it. God, that's so good. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, that's a pretty big Star Wars fan there when you're you're going down that rabbit hole. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. So Championship Darts Circuit is going to be at PopCon all three days. Uh, and, and as Alex said, you know, I know that we're going to have a couple of boards. There's going to be ex exhibitions. You know, part of the culture of building darts in North America is inviting the people who love to cosplay and we are those people. So we're going to, I know that we're going to have a, 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 some chairs set up. We're going to have a little like fan section. So we invite you to, you know, maybe, maybe, uh, you know, we can lead some of the fans and some of the, uh, the chats. We can get some, La, 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 la. <laughs> like, oh no we're not doing yeah yeah lolo yeah, no no no, no. <laughs> <laughs> i think look i think we can do better than the europeans we can okay. come up with something <laughs> yes i'm not going to come up with it okay but all, can. all right all right Alex, we, my we, job we... is to be there and throw the darts <laughs> y'all gotta do the other stuff and a little side note so uh alex you'll like this there is so uh our executive producer, Jana, and Brandon over here of the Brandon Peters Show, they have this, um, well, let's just say an unfriendly rivalry with each other. So they They're are friendly. actually going to be going at it, and they have decided that they want to throw darts. We're going to throw settle. down at PopCon. You know, like I said, I offer coaching. Uh, whoever has okay. the highest bidder gets my services. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> Good luck with Jana. I have media experience. Um, I can also sort your mail for you if you need me to do that. Um, I have two cats, and you're more than welcome to take one of them. I'm a dog you are person. not giving up my grandkids. Alex is Alex is a dog guy. We were talking on Facebook. Well, it's okay. There's room for. There's lots. I mean, of don't get me wrong. I like cats, but dogs yeah. are better. Uh, Wait, my question is, are you local? That's my question. No, we're talking about dog training. I'm in Raleigh. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's the, uh, but, you know there's like a beach like in are North you gonna Carolina. you're gonna like go three visit hours it? away i mean i got yeah, like 20 geography <laughs> geography jana like Ra look Myr myrtle beach is three oh, hours away. i'm yeah. not good at geography look i'm not good at geography <laughs> math astronomy darts, darts. botany darts. Anatomy. casting i'm not good at podcasting producing see how well my pot see how well my book club is going <laughs> playing the recorder <laughs> all right alex we are looking forward to seeing you at popcon uh thank you so much let's see kevin wants to know if you ever put a picture of someone on the dartboard and thrown at it how was maybe when i was a kid <laughs> <laughs> i was actually gonna say though if you guys want to get better just picture your opponent's face right where you want to hit like the old water boy. yeah okay yeah. Bet. <laughs> Carl, uh, can we put pictures on the dartboard? <laughs> <laughs> no. Not my dart. Not my dartboards. Not my darts. So go for it. You know what? If you are a, a, a darts player as well, and you're interested in learning about how to even, you know, how, how do you how do you get into the championship dart circuit? You you can come and, and talk to the guys as well. Uh, go to champdarts.com. And uh, Alex, we will see you at PopCon here in, in just a few weeks. Yep, looking forward to it. All right. That is Alex Spellman from the Championship Dart Circuit. Woo! And, uh, you know, like I mean, of course, this was sort of – it actually, well, I would – I can't even say it was my idea. I think I was, I was going to um, – uh, a darts event in Wisconsin where some of the PDC players from Europe were coming over to play. And I was so excited about it. Uh, I was on a yes, call with, was. with Carl and Chris and, and Chris was, and Chris said, is this something we should have at PopCon? <laughs> I was like, <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. So uh, here we are. I just can't escape it. Uh, so oh, we're we're gonna uh, we're gonna take a, a quick break because we got another event to to tell you about, and then when we come back, guys, uh, we still have Colton Haynes. Uh, we only got ten minutes from for Arrow. Colton. And we also need to play Don't Screw the Crew. Yeah, no, we only got 10 minutes. I don't think, don't we, have next. I don't think we have enough time. <laughs> Dig it away, back.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, the KJ Today Show invites you to do your spring cleaning and bring those items to help us raise money for indie neighborhood cats. The donation drive for this year's mega yard sale kicks off this Catterday morning. Meow. <laughs> 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 out afterwards <laughs> <laughs> drop off your donations and pick up kj's book raised by cats behind the mic in the house, house. Thank get, you. It, get it signed and at a special price to help raise money join us 10 a.m to noon at indianapolis care services Oh, thank you, Patches. John, uh, you notice uh, socks got knocked over by the kittens there. The, the Bruh, <laughs> look, studio cam. If you if you go to the playback, you'll see me go like this. <laughs> the twins just came running up here. Giles was leaning over the thing. He was <sighs> like he was breathing so hard. I was like, bro, are you good? Uh, oh, very nice. aggressive. <laughs> very aggressive. All here, right. Uh, it is time, guys, for everyone's favorite game. Whose favorite game? Don't. Don't. I've got three yeah. trivia questions. They all oh, have yeah. to do with uh, PopCon related guests. Oh, yes. sh- <laughs> There's so many. <laughs> uh, we are going to start with Carl. Now, tonight we oh. are play- <laughs> We are playing for a chance for Donna, crew number 260, to get a weekend pass <laughs> and an offici- officially licensed Lord of the Rings collage kit, as well as that decal pack, which is absolutely amazing. Three days at PopCon and all of the Lord of the Rings amazing products from Conquest Journals. Let's do this for you're, you're, Donna. You're putting a lot of pressure on me for with vacation brain. So. One collage kit to rule them all. Honestly, as long as it's not me, that's all that matters. Uh, Johnny, you're going to ask the last question. If I don't think that's it. fair. Yep, it's on. I don't think that's fair. Personally. All right. I think you should make Brandon do it. No, I'm giving. Uh, I'm giving patches the the night off, and and we're going to go Carl. Brandon, what? what did Pat? You know what? I quit. Okay. <laughs> no. I'm still on page six. Street, Donna, you you yep. weren't here uh, last up. month. You weren't here last month. What am I doing? I, you took the day off, so Katie. It was my dad's friend. birthday, and in case you didn't know, he's kind of deceased. Okay, so I was mad. having a time. Wow, you took the I'm, show dark. This is I supposed to be popcorn. So I was also supposed to be in Florida, but then that trip got canceled. So, like, hey, we don't want to hear about it. Bring in all here. the positive vibes. Let's go, John. Right here. Look, you didn't play play. for Brandon and Darts. You I'm heard not. it, right? Yeah, you weren't here. You didn't what? play. You knew that I wasn't going to Florida. <laughs> And you didn't even you were you didn't even like Donna. You want to come do the show? Like no, you just I was respecting the fact that your dad was dead and you took the day off to honor him. Okay, <laughs> that's what I was moving doing. on. <laughs> You're welcome. Keep going anyway. RIP, R. I. P. dead. <laughs> You're yes. giving Carl time to collect himself to get the. I get it. I get it. You guys filler. Not, Let Carl not, get his brain good. <laughs> I get it. I get it. I saw. Yeah. I saw the chat. I thought saw the private chat. It's good. All right. It's good there we go. <laughs> There we go. It's time to play. Don't screw Move the crew. The crew. The crew. Oh, All right. <laughs> Our first question goes to Carl from Popcon. The category is movies. <clears throat> Great. Car- this is a brand. Car- this is a Brandon question, but go ahead. Uh, you're gonna be fine. <laughs> In the Lord of the Rings movies, name the <laughs> vegetable that Samwise longs to have as he's making fish over the fire. Oh, come on. Carl! I don't know it either. Thank God I'm not but, playing. Now, to be fair, I, I, I rewatched Return of the King a lot, but not the original. So, uh, Do I need to go to Brandon for an assist? No. <laughs> yeah, that's, that, that seems a little obscure. Are you kidding? It's one of the I, most... I'll, get, I'll, give you, I'll give you a hint. Ireland. That doesn't seem like a good hint, Patches. Potatoes. What, potatoes? That's not potatoes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Potatoes. Potatoes. Because he says potatoes. Nuts right now. Potatoes. Potatoes. <laughs> potatoes. I remember this now. Potatoes. Potatoes. It's okay, Laura. You can laugh. Boil them, mash them, uh, stick them in a stew. 
That was close, Brian. That was close. I don't remember anything from any movies, and I remember potatoes. All potatoes. I know about potatoes. that is potatoes. I eat breakfast. You weren't being grilled on the spot either, man. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're going to go over to Brandon Peters from yep. the Brandon Peters show. Please uh, subscribe to his show as well. To, uh, it's, it's, it's a lovely listen. Uh, Brandon, <clears throat> the category is TV. Okay. okay. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to mock you, but it was too easy. Go ahead, mock away. <laughs> In the TV show Arrow. Okay. What character in the show is known to declare often, you have failed this city? Put the timer on. Ready? Okay. Do, do, What's do, the, how long has it got? Do, do, Menomina. Do, do, oh, I thought you were doing a Menomina. Menomina. You can't do too much or we'll get copyright. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it is, it's Oliver Queen. It is Oliver Queen. Oh take God. all the time down yeah, to the one and then say the easy Green answer. No, we also would have accepted Green Arrow. I'm sorry. I forgot uh, that Brandon really likes when we do this. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Oh, you're right. Oh, that's right. No, <laughs> that's right. We got two correct. So Donna's a winner. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Listeners, if one of you is musically talented, give me a beat to that. Just dance house music. We'll play it up. We'll play it up. Paul, our musical director, could totally uh, set that to a beat. Paul. Paul. Wow. Paul. it. If you're listening to this or watching this later, I will absolutely stop being your friend if you put a beat to that. <laughs> oh, I will pay you to put a beat to that. Wow. All right. Congratulations woo, 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 woo. to yeah, crew yeah, number yeah. 260, Donna, who is going to PopCon weekend pass all three days to enjoy it all and to celebrate the Lord of the Rings stars coming to PopCon. She's it's also that, got Donna. her collage kit and decal pack. You know what? She wanted the tickets for her son, who is named Malcolm. She's such a huge nerd. Her son is named Malcolm after Firefly. Uh, so she's very excited. Her son and his, I don't know if I should say, he's, his, he wants to take his girlfriend. <gasps> yeah. Oh my God, Donna, please tell your son to come to our booth so I can say hi to him. We have had the kind of nerdy network around so long that now like people that I know, they have children who are old enough to have boyfriends and girlfriends now. It's Gross. just like, it's too much. I can't. It's a trap. Ready. Don't do it. I'm not ready for Malcolm to have girlfriends. Uh, all right. Uh, you know what? Last question. Uh, uh, Patches, will you throw in uh, maybe a, a, a Harry Potter decal pack as well if Jonna can get the last question? Wow, that's so rude. I can, I can One probably... Harry Potter decal to rule them all. Mm. Yeah, you know what? I, can, I could probably do that. Okay. All right. Uh, Jonna, the category is movies. Jesus. In the, oh, amen, movies. Amen. Uh, in the movie hook. What is the name of the character Dante Bosco plays? Rubio. Rubio. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Worth it for that. <laughs> Worth it. Really? I wanted to say boo, and that came up, and I changed my mind. Oh, man. Thank you. <laughs> All right. You guys we, make me sick. We, uh, <laughs> we, we still have the pet of the week. We Jesus. got some good news coming up. Uh, but we promised you that Colton Haynes was going to be on this show as well. So let's uh, get to get to that. We actually, these are uh, a couple of clips from when Colton Haynes was with us at the very beginning of the show. We're going to let Carl go back to his vacation. Uh, have a great time, Carl. We will see you at PopCon. Uh, Brandon, Woo! Brandon, uh, would you like to hang out or you want to get out of here too? Get Brandon out of here. I'll, I'll stay. I'll stay for sure now. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I if, can't wait to beat you at dark. I'm going to go for hour so number two. Hour <laughs> number two. Uh, so if you are excited about Colton Haynes coming to PopCon, yes, uh, I hope that you know that 
almost the entire Arrow cast is coming to PopCon. I literally point. am going to sob. Uh, Steve Adamel couldn't make it because he's filming for his new suit spinoff. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. But man, it's going to be amazing. And I had a chance to actually talk to Colton about his fans. He's done uh, cons for a long time and, and to talk about the support that they have shown him personally. Well, I really... Once I started to realize that I needed to stop being um, anyone, you know, but who I who I am, and it, once I started realizing I just need to be myself, because that started connecting with people, and I, I found that my vulnerability in a lot of ways has become like my, you know, not just like my thing, but it's also just become my it's become my superpower in a way, and so uh, it's not it, it's not just me; it's the people who who have the courage to even come up to me and say, you know, that my story has helped them through their journey and, and helped change their lives. Like that, that's the reason why, legit, that's the reason why I wrote the book is I, I had an encounter, I had a uh, encounter at a superhero convention uh, with a young, a young queer fan who came out to his family because he had, he had seen my, basically had seen a lot of the things I had done online and, and um, had seen my journey with coming out. And so that, just struck me because it kept happening. And I started, once I started to really focus on, you know, the positive and, and the support as opposed to just listening to all the negative things, um, you know, that people say online, um, that really gave me the courage to start writing this. And, and I'm just so, yeah, it just feels like it's a joint effort because I couldn't have done this without, you know, people who, who support my career and also just people who show me love. So I say thank you to all them too. Don't you just want to hug him at PopCon now? I can't wait. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, and we also talked to him about his cat, of course. And I don't right. care that we're running late patches. Uh, I'm gonna well, let... You're going to have oh, very, that pop very up on my computer, KJ? <laughs> uh, uh, you, can get, you can go uh, take the potatoes out of the oven. Potatoes. 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 Uh, here's uh, Colton Haynes talking about his cat. It's adorable. My son, which I, I, I leave the part out a lot that he's a cat. And I just tell people I have a four-year-old. And they, <laughs> you know, they respond to it. Uh, but yeah, his name's Timothy Shalomiao. And um, he is named after, um, you know, obviously Timothy Shalomiao. Uh, mm -hmm. He's doing really great. He is very happy that I'm gone because uh, <laughs> I'm in New York. And he started doing this thing where he's he waves at me now, which is very odd. I'll post a picture on my story. Um, and I think he's basically telling me, goodbye, you need to leave now because he <laughs> likes his his, uh, his cat sitter more than I think he likes me. So, you know, he's currently living it up right now. <laughs> Colton Haynes will be at PopCon along with a gazillion other awesome celebrities. Uh, make sure you get your tickets, popconindie.com. Uh, Patrick, uh, uh, sorry, Patrick, producer. Who is that? I don't know, man. Producer Patches. Patrick. Uh, Put the link up earlier. Uh, if you go to kjgiveaway.com, I still have some tickets. You join the KJ crew. I still have uh, a few tickets left for our crew members to uh, get a, a single day pass to, to come to PopCon with us. So go to kjgiveaway.com. Uh, we got a little bit of good news to share, Brandon. Have you ever been a part of our good news segment? I may have. Okay, I'm going to need you to fill in because Patches ran to make sure the potatoes aren't burning. Potatoes. It's time for the good news. All good. right. Tell me something. Oh, that's really nice, isn't it? <laughs> Tell me something good. <laughs> she she literally, me. before the show, was like, oh, that has music. I have to take the music I out. I thought I muted it. I guess I didn't. It was real nice, right? Real nice. <laughs> oh, I liked God. it. All right. Good news coming in tonight from Kay. She says, I'm coming to Indiana for the eclipse. So excited. Is, is that my Aunt Kay? I she mentioned know. something about she might be coming. <laughs> or maybe they, they typoed and it was comma K. Like, I'm coming for the eclipse, Kay. <laughs> eclipse, Kay. Kay. I'm coming for the eclipse, Kay. Kay. Okay. I'll be at your house, Kay. Okay. <laughs> uh, Ashley says, my shy foster kitten sweetheart is getting adopted today. Oh, uh, kitty, kitty. We love when the little shy ones get adopted. Yay. And Ryan says, my cosplay is coming together nicely. Nice. Uh, Ryan, can't wait to see that at PopCon. Come show me the podcast stage. I hope there's it. another giant sword. Mm. Always got to have a giant sword, right? 
We love the giant swords. Uh, all right. You know what we also love is wrapping up the show with an adorable pet, because even if the show wasn't what you hoped for, you leave feeling good about it because you got to see some cute pets. True. So you forget about all the terrible stuff that we did. And you're like, man, I really like that show. That cat and dog, they were cool. I just want you to know that Kay commented and she says, yes, it's your Aunt Kay. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, <that's awesome. laughs> oh, hi, Aunt Kay. I can't wait to see you. It's your Aunt Kay. I'm literally hiding in my house during the eclipse with a bottle of West Fork whis whiskey. <laughs> so I don't have any plans for the eclipse other than to hide. Uh, okay. Other than to drink, drink it away. A, yep. <laughs> drink a limited edition bourbon. Thank Listen, you. Listen, you guys, they're talking about how crazy it's going to be. And that, like, like, it's going to be dark for four minutes. I know, but like the animals get all weirded out. And people get all weirded out. You know, John, weird stuff. Weird well, stuff. I'll be inside, so yep. it doesn't really matter. All right. That's All where right. it gets weirdest. All right. Well, there's only like four people who work in my building. So like if I get murdered, then like whatever. You yeah. know, I just want to <laughs> say cool. I, I think oh, dark uh, again, Jana. Go in dark. That's right. I think given that we had uh we had three live guests plus a celebrity interview and all the popcorn stuff to do, that we are getting out of here at a pretty good time. Is, that's all yep. I'm saying. I, well, also, I'm I would like to know you can still sign up for the podcast awards. That was you not can. mentioned. You oh, can. Okay. You can. Okay. You can. You can all still right. Get in. There's still time. There's all still right. awards. And if you're in the right category, you just might win. Okay. Like yeah. matches. I'm I'm going for my, He's got my competition this year. Oh. But, oh. He does. Right. Matches. It'll be me next year with my baking segment. Yep. I I gotta get my get on. My uh, my my sports submission in for you there, Brandon. Sports is sports is competitive. <laughs> okay, but if you were a true crime podcast, I'd love to hear from you. Are you kidding? We don't have because true crime podcast. We have, we, we have, but it's down this year. Okay, so well, I can talk about some murder, in. my guy. You All want right. me to just talk about murder? Because I will talk about it and send yeah. it in. You might win. We don't have Patches. time. Patches is so annoyed. <laughs> Patches, like you Listen. don't have to. Like you can go bye bye. No, he wants to see the cute pets. And when he sees the cute pets, he'll forget how annoyed he is with us that we're going late. Who is us? <laughs> I'm is always annoyed with me. you two, so it's all good. All right. Yay. Here here we go, my friends. The pet of the week. Pets. A couple Aww. of cute kitties, <gasps> Olive and Grey Worm. Aww. Their mom is Laura. Olive is three. And she has many nicknames. Noodle, Nudes, Snoodle, and Snoods are a couple of them. Look at them just catching some Zs. Uh, she makes them laugh constantly because when she meows, she uses her whole face and her white teeth look like fangs. Look at those Aww. babies. Uh, <laughs> Gray Worm Ooh. is actually semi-feral. She didn't know she'd ever actually even get to pet him. And look how happy he is now. Uh, he is also known by G-Money, Grazy Bear, and Bunny Bear. And both of them love to snuggle with their mom, Laura. We are so grateful that you shared your pets with us tonight, Laura. And remember to follow us uh, uh, on Facebook because you never know when I'm going to do a shout out and be like, hey, I need some pets for the pet of the week. It might be yours. I just saw the Smitten Kitten Cafe uh, chimed in there. Patch is flashing up my uh, Facebook page for those of you who don't follow or if you're listening along. It is KJ on the air. And we will be at the Smitten Kitten Cafe, uh, our very first Coffee and Cats Live. I'm so excited about this. There's only 15 tickets available because we're in the cat side. So it's one person per cat. So 15 cats, 15 that? people. Uh, I don't know, Jonna. We haven't really talked about it. Uh, May 11th. You just be throwing events on me, so I don't be knowing what's going on. Catterday, May 11th. You're welcome to. We're going to be live. Uh, one episode, two Catterdays. Nice. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, Brandon, Peters, Yo. thank you so much. It's always a pleasure to have you on the show. Is it? Pleasure it is. is all mine. It is. Mm. And we will see you at PopCon. I'm sure we'll be uh, uh, talking before then as well. I rock you in darts. Also, thanks to the crew for watching tonight. Yes. Yeah. That. Yeah. And we come are... say hi at PopCon, of course. No, All right. Don't talk to Brandon. Uh, and now we leave you with these end credits I worked really hard on. And if you didn't understand the reference from the Lord of the Rings, uh, maybe this will help. <laughs> Oh,
but we need a few good taters. What's taters? Potatoes. <laughs> <laughs>